So we're having yet another identity crisis. Went to our therapist and our therapist told us to go to this place called Identity Coffee that can really help us um, discover our identity more than our therapist can help us. <laughs> Hopefully we can, um, oh, last time we had this crisis, I ordered a cappuccino. And so maybe this time I'll order one again. Mm -hmm. I don't know what I'm gonna get. <laughs> I need caffeine, but I can't have coffee because it gives me the jitters. But then I don't feel like tea. See, identity crisis <laughs> happening before your eyes. I just told Vicky that I saw the first hater comment on the vlog, which that said, <clears throat> that said, I just wasted seven minutes of my life. I said, hey, first hater though. That's good. Yeah. You always gotta start with one, but then I man. It's a sign. It's a sign that you're 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 I'm wasting that. people's life away. <laughs> YouTubers who do this all the time that get like millions of views and comments have to deal with this constantly. And then you have to read comments in order to communicate with the nice people. And then that means you always have to go through the bad ones. Mm -hmm. So I was like, man, how do you deal with like seeing mean people saying mean things to you all day long? It's just shut out the negativity, I guess. Somehow. Yeah, yeah, they must be masters at not giving a single crap about terrible people, which is a good thing. So maybe, maybe they all learn a way to um, buff up their immunity to mean people. Oh, it has my name on it. Why? What's that? What'd you get me? Reminds me of what Brittany got. <laughs> and back in Canada? Oh. Oh, babe. <laughs> this is so cute. It is the same thing. <laughs> Christina Applegate. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, this is so cool. Oh, Jeff. This is so awesome. <gasps> Bench pad. A new one! Ah! Yeah. For makeup. Mm-hmm. Cleanser. Look at this. What is it? <laughs> Shower gel. Ooh. Umbrella. Wait, this is so cool. Oh. What else? Go cry. What is this? What is this? Ah! I want to know what this is. Oh, it's a bag. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, is it the same bag that Brittany got? Ah. <laughs> I can put wine in here. Oh, God. <laughs> like how that's her third first thought. Because look how big it is. Oh, yeah, it is pretty big. It's oh, it's vegan leather. Oh. oh. <laughs> Ooh. It's so cute! Alright, I got my trusty sidekick here. Angie. Angie Pie. Mr. Ang. Angerton. Ang the Last Airbender. I am trying to make my first movie review. My one minute review. And get a little taste of what the screen looks like. I just did my first test on the Dragon Prince, which we just binge watched and we absolutely love. So um, I'll show you what this whole setup is. First, we got the Canon C100 Mark II with the Canon 24 to 105 attached. Um, this lens is a 4.0 aperture, but um, I, I'm using it because it has autofocus and I need to be able to see if I'm in focus there from there. And it's very hard to tell with that monitor. So that's why I use Lenses with autofocus. And then we just blast lights everywhere. So I've got this LED light here. And it's ba don't ba don't. I'm using my guitar stand for this because I'm just quickly trying to get this done. Um, then I have these scorpion lights that I've bought several years ago that are very helpful. As you can see, it just it's a light that I can move 
and then close and open those things if I want and then plugs in directly to the wall so this one is going boom while that lights going boom and then that, that lights behind me as a hair light going boom bing bing I'm using lav mics to get my audio uh, and I'm just putting that underneath my shirt and taping it I do that because um, it's just better audio to be lobbed and uh, I would rather do that than using like a um, the on camera a shotgun mic um, just because it's better and I like hiding it even though it's like a review you can show the mic and it's not that big of a deal it's just that tiny little distraction so I'd rather hide it and then just speak normally I'm trying to hope that it'll be one minute if so that'll be awesome because i want it to be a series where every review is spoil free and one minute long i want to do stop motion one of the coolest filmmaking tools lie back lie back go ah. done Here's my jib, and then here's my big old table thingy. I need to try to fit my camera on there and hope that this weight can carry it. I need to find something that I can counter the weight with. Okay, so I put a paper bag on the end and I put some like um, doorknobs and random things that have some weight to it and so I'm gonna put the camera on the end and then ideally it'll eventually weigh out and work let's see oh right. I'm gonna do the most amazing time-lapse ever with all my movies I'll try to do a time-lapse with this camera as I'm doing the real time loss with that camera, using everything else. I'm tired, I just did this so fast. There's a lot of movies, and I think it looks cool. Oh my god, the battery died, and then I had to Try to make it literally perfect with how it was before because I had to take it out and put it back in and obviously it moved it a little bit. That was a nightmare. I did this perfect symmetric thing. I didn't plan on it being this way, but it ended up this way, which is cool. So I'm using a program called Dragon Frames, which uses this, which is pretty amazing. And it navigates everything so you don't have to actually touch the computer or the camera. You just press record here and it'll take a still image. You can sift through, delete, you can do all sorts of stuff just on this. And then on this program, I can go back and forth and see everything I did. Oh, I love that part. It goes wee. I use this wire to connect into my 5D, which is connected to one of my Rokinon lenses. Um, it's a manual lens So with manual lenses, obviously it won't try to adjust and change focus. It's not a zoom lens It's a um, it's a fixed lens, which means there's no possible way that it could potentially Start zooming in by accident. It just is one focal length, which is what you need for stop-motion. I had a wire I don't know where it is. I looked everywhere but I had a wire that plugs directly into the 5D into my laptop so that, uh, or into an outlet actually, yeah, um, so that it never runs out of batteries, which is, which would have saved me from doing that whole headache of trying to match it, but whatever, so made it work. So I think I'm gonna end this vlog here because I'm tired, I'm gonna go shower, I'm gonna put all my DVDs away, put my laptop away, put the camera away, turn off all the lights, and then be sleeping so snugly and happily.